realizes door opens creak. Hey, Ruby. When you said you were the half day, I didn't know you meant that you'd be home this early. I better go put away the lotion and the tissues. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So how was your shift? Oh, and I made some pizza earlier and I threw in the fridge. Because I thought you'd be home later than this. So, if you want to grab a slice, feel free whenever. Don't worry. I made sure there was pineapple on it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Since you're home so early, why don't we do something fun? Cool. Alright, I'll pour you some juice. Or tea. Okay, tea. I'll be right there. Kettle goes and I go, ah, I burn my finger. Here you go. I put a ton of honey in there. Just how you like it. You can tell me if it's sweet enough after. Don't burn your lips by trying it right now. Oh, who did I get? I just got some black coffee. <laughs> yeah, I need to think about it for a second. The simple things are the most challenging. I can't remember anything. My memory's so bad. I could have brought you over a tea and forgot what it was and said it was apple juice. Anyway. Did you want to play truth or dare with me since you have my night off? I think it'd be fun. I'm not going to ask you anything weird. <laughs> Unless you started. Yeah. Alright. Let me go first. Truth or dare? Starting off safe, are we? Yeah, I probably won't. Pick dare much either, so... You don't have to worry about me expecting you to. Uh, here's my question. When's the last time you cried? <laughs> Great first question, right? Really? Must happen pretty often then. Do you get a frequent crier card with that? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't worry, I cried too. The last thing I cried at, out of everything, <laughs> of all things, was a serial killer show. Dexter. Yeah. It's one of my favorite shows right now. I'm completely addicted to it. Okay, I gotta stop myself before I start rambling. It's your turn, you gotta ask me. Hmm, who's my secret crush? <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, let's see. Your mom's uh, daughter. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I'm pointing at you, why? <laughs> yeah, it's no secret. Hey, that doesn't make me a weirdo. It's not like I'm stealing your underwear. I could be one of those roommates that likes you and just goes to ham on the G-strings. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. It's not weird. It was just a very attractive woman. Alright, alright. My turn, my turn, my turn. No more commenting on that. You gotta keep this train going. Uh, wait, what was my question again? Oh yeah, what's your favorite body part? On yourself. Your eyes? <laughs> yeah, they are pretty cool. A little intimidating to stare at. Or have them stare at you. But pretty cool. Alright, ask me one. I want to know what you want to know about me. Truth. Yeah. My biggest insecurity. <laughs> oh my god. That's gotta be... Definitely, uh, my hide. Because I'm in the range where people always say, Oh, I want a guy that's over a certain height, and I'm there. But, somehow, I still get comments like, Oh, I, I used to date a guy who was 6'8", so you're worth less. That makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> That's probably my biggest insecurity, which is completely ridiculous. I know many people kill 
to just be a bit taller and here I am complaining. It's just, it's silly. It's very silly. Alright, truth or dare. Truth. Do you have any phobias? Arachnophobia. Of course you do. I already knew that one. You always fucking yell across the house for me to take care of the spider in your room. I had to get a broom and <laughs> just sweep the ceiling for cobwebs. Come on, do you, do you have one more? Really big things. <laughs> you, yeah, I know what you mean like giant shrimps or really big buildings or like if Saturn was really close to our planet or something, there's just this big, huge object in the sky, you'd be scared of it, right? Make you uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. No, that's not silly. Uh, your turn, ask me. I won't take another truth, thank you. What do I want to be remembered for in life? Um... <laughs> Nothing. I don't want people to perceive my existence. I don't want people to think about me. I don't even want people to talk to me. I want to be like... The only time I want to be... Uh, perceived is when I reach out to someone to do something. I don't want anyone thinking about me ever. It makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah, I know that's impossible, but... For one dream in life, I'd like that. Just to be able to live and... Nobody bothered me ever. I'm like one of those guys who wants to run away into the woods and just be alone. But I like having the internet too much. And that already puts a big problem in that plan. Because <laughs> I need to interact with people in order to pay for my internet. It sucks. Can you imagine just living in a cabin you built yourself? Chopping down all those trees, putting everything together. Oh, it would feel so good. Yeah, I would own goats and chickens. And maybe cows and uh, I don't know. I don't know how well cows do in a forest. I've never thought about that before. And pigs. Pigs would be kind of cool to have. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that's my ideal life. But with internet, because I want to play games and stuff. <laughs> yeah, single player games. Okay, enough of me rambling forever. Your turn, truth or dare? Dare, is it? Oh gosh, golly gee, I gotta think about that for a second. How about you? Shut me up. So I don't feel more anxious about speaking too much. Mm. Oh. That is a million times better than what I was thinking about. <laughs> I was thinking just turn on the TV, but... If you really feel that way about me, Rumi. I totally forgot that I told you <laughs> you were my secret crush. Mm. See how bad my memory is.